Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome to our channel. If you watched our video yesterday where I dressed up like Harley Quinn, you saw that I was using a confetti cannon just like she did. But in fact, what I was using was a city slicker potato cannon. In order to use this, let me show you what you need. You're gonna need some potatoes and you're gonna need some hairspray. The way it works is the end of the cannon is actually a little bit, I guess it's called like beveled, so it makes it a little bit sharper and you are going to remove the cap end We had to bring out the big boy toys to get this off. <laughs> In the future, we've learned that when we're finished playing with our potato cannon for the day, we are going to leave the cap off. The reason that we had a problem is this end has an igniter. And in this area is where you spray hairspray because it's flammable. With the igniter, it makes the cannon explode, which is awesome. But by leaving the cap on overnight, the hairspray must have dried in there and stuck it together. So I'm so glad we, got to, we were able to get it apart. Okay. Got my potato. All right, am I in the shot? You're in the shot. All right, well, let's see if I'm strong enough. So I'm going to, with the cap off, I'm going to push down. Ton of wind noise. Man, Damn. You did, you did hey. pretty good. I sure did. All right. So, all right, so I have my potato in. It's blocking the entire opening of the muzzle of the cannon. And now I'm just going to use something to push the potato down into the cannon. All right, so it's down in there. And the better you get the potato in to seal the entire opening, the farther your potato is going to fly because there will be no air that can go by your potato and it's going to force it out even further. The next step is to spray some hairspray in the end. And then you're going to screw the cap on and make sure it's nice and tight. All right. Ready, cameraman? <laughs> Holy crap, Anoli. That was our best shot yet. <laughs> that was so awesome. I wanted I'm to do it again. I'm glad we have vinyl fencing. Look. Kabam! That's what I hit. Yeah, that would have done damage to a wood fence. Yeah, um, the instructions on here do say, do not, hold on, let me read them for you. Aim at target and press igniter button until cannon fires. Do not point or fire at anything you do, do not wish to kill or destroy. <laughs> Man, that one, if you shot that in the air, it would have gone. No, that's not enough potato. Okay. All Make right, sure you get big potatoes. Our bag has little potatoes. Yeah. I know I keep searching for one that's big enough. All right. All right. Got my potato in. Push it down. <laughs> she loves this stuff. <laughs> All right, back up. Do not hit the neighbor's window. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Do not, do not hit me in the back of the head. Oh. 
That was amazing. That really was amazing. That is a lot of fun. I didn't put it on as tight this time, but it's still like stuck. I want to see like, if I go all the way, I need your help again. I want to see, I'm going to go all the way to the fence and see if it'll shoot all the way to the fence. Just hold the gun straight and level because that, you know, when you yeah. get scared when you push it. There we go. <laughs> This is so much fun. So just so you know, you can order these from Amazon, but we ordered ours from walmart.com. They only had them online and to be shipped to you. It was $29.95 plus tax and free shipping. And it said it was gonna take like 10 days to get to us, but it really only took about three days. <laughs> it's the best $29.99 plus tax I think we've ever spent. And when we were doing our research, we found that it was more expensive everywhere else. The cheapest one was at Walmart. They also had them on eBay and stuff, but Walmart was definitely the cheapest. Okay. <laughs> Come on, baby. There we go. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so amazing. Okay. In the pamphlet that comes with it, it says that it will shoot a quarter of a mile. Okay, I'm going all the way over here. I know she's going to shoot me one of these times. <laughs> I'm so far, i got to make sure I don't hit that window. Yeah, why don't you lock it? So, so you know your level are, are a little high, but don't hit the house. Yeah, you're aiming at me, you know. No, okay. Is this good? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So much fun. Also, you'll see in our video from yesterday when I was... Harley Quinn, not only did the potato come out, but some confetti came out. So the way that we did that is we just took the shredded confetti that you can like wrap presents with. You can get it at the Dollar Tree. We put it in first, then the potato in, and then fired it, and that made the potato shoot up, but it also shot the confetti out, which made it a confetti canyon, cannon. Why would you need a confetti cannon? Because that's what Harley Quinn has. So we had to make Where does she have cannon. that? In the police station, when she goes in there and she says she has a crime to report. In what movie? Oh, in the movie, Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey. <laughs> this is what the potato plug looks like. Look, we went all the way through both sides of the potato, so it plugged it perfectly. All right, everybody, we had so much fun shooting off our potato cannon. There might have been some confusion about the hairspray and putting the hairspray in here. So the hairspray goes in here, hi kitty, and then this screws in and you push this button and when you push this button, it creates a spark and that's what ignites the hairspray and blows the potato out the cannon. It's really awesome, you should get one. So before we end this video, some people have been asking for updates on the baby geese at the campground and we actually haven't been there for the last two days because we have kind of taken a little break, but we will be back within the next day or two, we'll be back to check on them. Last time we were there, they were getting so big, but there were also some brand new babies that had just been born. So it's been really fun to watch the different stages and now the new babies that have just arrived. But the babies that were born a couple of weeks ago are now looking like they're starting to get their flight feathers and starting to learn to fly. That is going to be so exciting to watch as well. So I can't wait to get back over there and check in on those precious little babies. I hope you enjoyed our video. I hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day. Today is Memorial Day, so happy Memorial Day to everybody. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.